Today we are going to go over the new additions that are coming in today's pre-alpha test. As a reminder, you need to join the official Anvil Empire's official Discord to get invited to these tests. And here are the other upcoming Anvil Empire test dates that we know so far. Let's get into the new additions that we'll see in today's update. Bronze Tools and Weapons Progression in Anvil Empires over the last year has not really been focused on until now. We are finally starting to see the first stages of progression through bronze weapons and tools. We can assume that in future updates we will see even further progression that upgrades our tools through silver or diamond or something along those lines. The gaps between progression are starting to get filled in and we finally made it to the age of bronze. In this next update, the bronze equipment will include a bronze sword, pickaxe, spear, axe, and knife. This technology logical leap to bronze weapons can be crafted on a stone anvil. The stone anvil is a stepping stone that will lead into the full smithing gameplay. From this information I can assume that if you want to be a full time smith in this game that you're going to be able to do just that. Stone anvils will currently not require you to be in a workshop area and can be built in the early days of settlements. Bronze materials can be produced by smelting copper and tin which can be mined from various deposits around the map. The next addition to Anvil Empires will be the heating vats. A big focus in the pre-alpha test right now is building out the crafting economy at settlements and homesteads. I'm hopeful that some bigger combat updates will be coming out soon. The heating vat is coming to help speed up production through boiling, brewing, and melting. The heating vat will require water and combustible fuel like wood to operate. Like most production assets, you will place the needed ingredients into the heating vat and wait as the output material you desire boils, brews, or melts. An added layer to this is temperature. Temperature will play a vital role in what you desire to make. The temperature of the vat will be determined by the types of combustible fuel you add to the heating vat. Different recipes will have different optimal temperatures. Sounds like it might be time to break out some spreadsheets. When the ingredients are being heated, the closer their average temperature is to their ideal desired temperature, the higher the quality output will be. Temperature can be boosted further by attaching bellows which is required to achieve the highest quality material for certain recipes. Crude risen can be harvested from special trees that spawn near bear dens. Remember not to get too close to those bears. What are you doing, Morgana? No! Here, okay, jump in, jump in. Oh no, Morgana! Uh, Morgana! <laughs> no, you. And I hit Schultz! I killed him! That wasn't the bear, that was me! Uh... Oh my god, dude. Apparently they cleave too. That's actually good to know. Ah! Oh my god! Not the trees! No! Please! Please! No. Go! You, ca you can't respawn, Remnant. You can't respawn. Stay back. There you go. Alright, circle. Thank you. Oh, 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 We've been trying. Right, keep swinging, keep hold swinging. We can take them out. We'll hold the rear. One down. Keep your shields up. Beautiful. Oh yeah, look at That's that. That's done. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we did it. Bring Team them to the, the kitchen. Risen is harvested with a knife which can be converted to rosin which can then be used to craft shields. To make risin into rosin you will need to use a heating vat. The last addition for this update is homestead interiors. The devs want to make sure that family homestead structures are actually useful and not just for looks. In the last minor test an inventory and the ability to manage families directly from the homestead were added. To take things further now an interior has also been added to the homestead so that initial family members can build beds and other interior structures without having to build separate houses. By removing additional prerequisites of building a separate house, the process of joining a game and starting a homestead is further simplified. Here are a few smaller features that are being added for this update. You can now harvest animals. You can use a knife to harvest animals for various resources. Some animals will require a certain type of knife to harvest. With the introduction of the deadwood trees from the last update, these trees will now require a bronze axe to cut them down. Weather events will happen more frequently around the map. A change we all wanted is that ravens are less aggressive and do less damage now. And finally, the number of merchants on the map has been decreased by 25%. And these are all the changes coming to today's pre-alpha test. You can sign up for an invite to these tests by joining the official Anvil Discord in the description below. If you are new to Anvil Empires, I have videos from the past updates and battles you can find on my channel. It is the largest town I heard on the west coast. They know we're coming. I I literally offered for them to make a stronger defense and start gathering people, so we shall see if this town shall put up a fight. We are once again able to run through this village very easily as they didn't have as many soldiers as we had thought. We start to chase them back to their main base once again. Their soldiers from the castle start to push us out once again. We start to form up and their numbers start to grow. They push us back a little bit to the lumber yard as they're using that flanking technique and kind of trying to surround us. We are able to see right through that and form up and start to attack their main army and push them back to their castle once again. 
Go forward, left, left side forward. Archer on right. All right, so, right. Yeah, 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 okay. Right. Good right. enough. All right, everyone, everyone, everyone forward, everyone. Both forward, run. Protect the Rams. Protect the Rams. Everyone, 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 everyone,